The theme for this edition of the Strategy Memo is, you're going to make it after all. New city, no network. Here's the question. I just moved to a new city where I have a small network. I have my own business and so does my husband, so I don't have the usual ways of meeting new people. I'm not the most outgoing person. I'm wondering what are the best ways to build the kind of networks I want. Signed, Move to Mass. A few weeks ago, I took a personality test that was really cool. And at the very end, the, the guy who gave me the test, my friend Gareth, said, well, you're very unusual in the response that we got. Your label is that you're a pragmatic mystic. And so using my knowledge of my new personality test, I'm going to answer this week's question both pragmatically and mystically. Let's start with the mystic. Speaking from the mystic side, the reality is that there's tons of books on networking and there's seminars and classes and it basically boils down to this. Build up your database. It's all about numbers, it's the number of people, and whoever has the best database wins. So I'm going to speak contrarily to that idea. And instead of building the biggest database and getting the greatest numbers, I'm going to suggest that you actually engage deeply with the new network that you're building. People in most urban areas are desperate for deep and meaningful relationships, including business relationship. They really want authenticity. And what they're really suspicious about is transactional relationships. People who want something and that's the only reason they engage them. I recently had this question put to me by a leading nonprofit leader in the country. And she said, boy, all of our colleagues at every event they go to kind of rush the podium afterward and see who can get their cards and exchange cards and, and really make the biggest impact that way. And she felt there was something false to it. So she came to me for advice. And my advice was, no, you don't need to rush the podium. You don't need these inauthentic relationships, pretending to be smart or trying to impress other people. But you need to be in the room. And that's the metaphor I'd use for you. You don't need to rush the podium, but you need to be in the room. That means not falling asleep in the room. It also means not sitting at home and waiting for the world to come to you. That's not going to work either. So you need to get out, get in the room, be authentic, and meet new people. Okay, let me answer this question now from the pragmatic side. A couple pragmatic suggestions that might work. One, realize that because you've moved to a new city, isn't as big a deal as it used to be because we are really a global community. My clients, for the most part, are not in Washington where I work. They're all over the country, all over the world. So realize that your network has just grown and you should never forget about the people you know around the country, around the world, as far as building your business and your friendships. Technology has really allowed us to build new connections there. So I would first say don't forget that. A great way to break into a new city and a new organization is volunteer your time at first. Let them experience the great work that you do, and soon they'll be looking to work with you professionally. Okay, let's recap. New city networking. Build authentic connections. Don't rush the podium, but be in the room. Tap your global network and volunteer to become known. Do that, and I have no doubt you, like Mary, are going to make it after all. Someone else is giving